those who become and those who never settle they know that there is always a better and greater version believers in times of adversity remember to anchor your faith in god's unwavering love and promises trust in his divine plan and find strength in his presence may this message serve as a source of encouragement and we affirm your unshakable relationship with him remain blessed as you listen the excellency of possessing or walking in partnership with the spirit of wisdom number one it says true wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established please give us verse 3 in amplified amplified it says true skillful and godly wisdom is a house a life a home a family built and by understanding it is established on a sound and a good foundation anything is built by wisdom once it has to do with building whether physically emotionally spiritually financially anything that needs to be built the architect is wisdom you cannot ignore wisdom and expect to build anything that lasts you want to build a ministry that lasts you want to build a business that lasts you want to build a kingdom influence that lasts it will come through the platform of divine wisdom now for study let's just look at one scripture first Kings chapter 3 now we'll look at verse 15 then we'll start from 16 down to 28 that will be our last scripture and then we'll pray now watch this so all that was happening was a dream by the time we get to 15 solomon woke up my god spiritual things are so powerful imagine if you were solomon's friend and both of you slept on the same bed you would not know that something of destiny value he would just wake up and stretch himself except that he's not the same person who went to bed and solomon awoke and behold it was a dream and he came to jerusalem watch this and stood before the ark of the covenant of the lord and offered up bond offerings what a man he offered bond offerings for the dream to come when he woke up he offered bond offerings for it to still begin to manifest he made a feast to all his servants next verse verse 16 now this will be the first test of the presence of this dimension of wisdom there's a lesson to learn here and we round up you can know that the spirit of wisdom has come upon you in solomon's case is about to be tested there came two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him this is a difficult situation right now and the one woman said oh my lord i and this woman dwell in one house and i was delivered of a child with her in the house uh-huh and it came to pass the third day after i was delivered that this woman was delivered also and we were together there was no stranger with us in the house terrible because there is no witness now so this is a complicated case there's no witness save the two of us in the house 19 and this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it that means she laid on the child till the child died are you following this difficult puzzle now and she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me Huh? while thy handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom are you following the story now and when i arose in the morning to give my child suck behold it was dead but when i considered it in the morning behold it was not my son which did bear 22. the other woman said nay but the living is my son and the dead is thy son and this said no but the dead is thy son 
and the living is my son and they spoke before the king Can you imagine such a situation? Two women come to you and they say, one, my child is dead, the other. Now, the king is about to demonstrate the all-surpassing excellence of this encounter. He's about to know and test for real whether this grace had truly come. Then said the king, the one saith, this is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other saith, nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. The spirit of wisdom. Keep this scripture there. Let me teach you something to learn. Are you seeing that the king was in a situation right now that it was a dilemma? He was not in the room with them, and there was no witness, there was nobody to call. Only two women and their two sons. Now they are in a very serious argument. Whatever the king did at that point would go around the nation. He could lose his reputation at that point. What do you then do? There are times when the situation that stands before you defies what you know. It would defy what you studied. It would defy the physical connection. At that time, you will need to outsource the spirit of wisdom. Notice the character of the spirit of wisdom. Until the word of the Lord came, there was no way of discerning. But remember, that the word of the Lord which is also this sword of the spirit is quick and powerful is sharper than any two-edged sword it is able to divide asunder the soul and the spirit and this sword that is the word is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the man immediately Solomon stood he said I am confused there has to be a yastic bring me the word the moment he carried the word the spirit of wisdom was ready to walk they brought that sword it was the sword of the spirit which is the word of God watch this that means you walk best in wisdom when you stay with the word of God the word of God reveals to you how God thinks and having the mind of Christ enhances the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom this is very powerful bring me a sword and they brought the sword before the king now the word of God started testing them watch this the first test to know the real owner watch this now the first test was the test of love and the test of selflessness because all men have self and whoever is the owner of the child must love the child more than their self greater love had no man than this than a man lay down his life for his friend so he said we are going to divide the child in two we will give half to you and half to the other in other words we are going to destroy this vision we are going to destroy this a child yet does not just talk of a human being it can mean anything destroy this vision into half give one to the other Give one to this. Verse 26. Watch this. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king. For her bowels yearned upon her son. Are you seeing compassion and love? The moment the word of the Lord came into the equation, the love test, the self test, it says, oh my love, please, I love this vision more than my reputation let my reputation die but let the vision live and the king was looking said now we are knowing the real owner the word of god is fine is filtering this i love this son do not allow this son die that I, it took me a long time to have this son and i love him more than my reputation don't worry give the woman the most important thing is let the child live let the vision live the word of god the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart and in no wise slay it but the other said let it be neither mine or thine so the real issue was not about the child the real issue was about bitterness it was about envy it was about anger that i am not succeeding so kill this person's child too so that two of us can now not have a child 27 watch this and learn and the king answered and said now that i've used the passion test now that i've used the love test now that i've used the self test this is the real owner she is the mother thereof 28 
the Bible says, and all Israel, this is the thing about wisdom. All Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom was of God was in him to do judgment. What did they see? So wisdom can be seen. When the wisdom of God rests upon your life, you are not the only one who will know you have it. Everybody around you will know because of the excellence of the judgment that you have. Are you ready to pray? We have about five minutes or so and we're going to pray passionately. Listen, brothers and sisters, every destiny here is at the mercy of the manifestation of this spirit upon it. I'd, I'd like you to make sure your heart is open for the next five minutes because you are going to cry. Many of us are at points right now in our lives, our ministries, different areas of our lives. And the cure to break that stagnancy is the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom. The cure to foolishness, foolish decisions, recycling of pain, wisdom.